So I'm back at the Boston airport where I'm working on my Brotherhood of Steel base. If you haven't seen my first video on this, I will have a link to it at the end of the video. And hell, I'll even throw it into the description. You should check it out. I actually have two first videos of this build. I kind of changed my mind after I already built everything. So just do a cordless seven binge on my recent uploads and you'll get caught up pretty quickly. Yeah, I know, I haven't done a lot in here yet, but I'm working on it. It always takes me forever to do the player home. So I just did that first. And speaking of which, I received a suggestion on my last video from Optimus Killer 97 who suggested that I build something inside of the plane, like a player home or something, which I thought was a damn fine idea. So that's what I did. I built a player home inside of this big ass, ugly ass, serves no purpose ass plane. So I'm gonna do a quick tour of the place and then show you guys how I built and decorated some of this. All right, I know that it looks like the plane is on fire, but everything's fine, just trust me. I'm gonna go pretty slow right here so you can see the restricted area decal. Oh, I just love the way it looks. Ah, this is not a guard, by the way, it's a statue. I'm gonna try to have settlers in this build and I'm going to assign one as my guard, just like this. So we'll see how that goes. I'm already kind of dreading having to deal with settlers, you know? So with this player home, my character is the, the captain. Right, is that the Brotherhood, like the leader of the Brotherhood people, the Elder? I don't know the Brotherhood very much, but yeah, okay, so the, the main Brotherhood guy, and that's why I get this big plane as my player home. Now, as far as decorations go, if you guys have been following me for a while, it's very similar to my normal style of decorating a player home. The only thing is that I changed a few things here and there to show that I'm with the Brotherhood. And I've done that with like Minutemen builds. It's all kind of been the same style. I'll just kind of have a few decor items or maybe even a flag just to show that it's my player, it's my character with my normal style, but I'm with the Minutemen or I'm with the Brotherhood. And that's the same thing with this build. An example of this is that I normally use institute monitors to keep track of everything going on outside, but I'm using these for this build because they look a little more Brotherhood-esque to me, you know? A better example is in here in the bedroom. So I usually will have the Minutemen crest above the bed, but now I made my own Liberty Prime Brotherhood crest kind of thing. You can tell I've made that from scratch, but it serves the purpose of what I'm going for. Now, my favorite part is this little office area. I love it. I just love all the shelves and all the clutter and just every this whole mess of things. Every time I see someone do something like this in their builds, I think, God, that looks so good. Why don't I do that shit? So this is me doing that shit. The closet came out pretty cool too, you know, again, because of all the mess. It's just all the clutter, all this crap in here, but it just makes sense, you know, in a wasteland that you would just be collecting so much stuff, so you need it, you know, need places to put it. And of course, I have to have a bathroom in here, so here is the master bathroom. Actually, it's the only bathroom. But I am well aware that this tub is like pristine, too clean. Yeah, I know. But it was either this or like extremely dirty, we're definitely going to get hepatitis kind of bathtub, and I didn't want that. So I just went with the too clean. Either too clean or too dirty, so I went too clean. If you learn anything from me, always go too clean and not too dirty, okay? Write that down. And on the other side of the house is the workshop slash garage area. It's kind of small for a workshop, but you know, everything fits in here. I got my power armor, my Brotherhood of Steel power armor. And I got my workbenches over here. And the washer and dryer just cracked me up. Every time I see it, it's like, it's just hysterical having that and the HVAC in here. You know, just cause I'm like the head, the head guy, you know. But hey, I need my laundry done, shit. I can't negotiate or declare war on people with bad smelling clothes on. I'm like, we're not animals, you know? This is my favorite spot out here too, by the way. I just, I love the view and this potted plant area, you know, shows off the green thumb and the softer side of the captain. And then just a little chill spot, which I love the airplane seat because it was so fitting because this is an airplane, in case you forgot. And the last thing I want to show you is up here, which is my individual control room. So this is me having access to everything downstairs in the base or communications with people in the Pridwin, like just full access to keep tabs on everything going on in the wasteland. And not to mention, it has a really nice view. And I know that if it rains, there's holes in the ceiling and it's just gonna ruin all this stuff up here. I know, I know, but it's fine. Okay, let's just, just let me have this. Now for the build, whenever I originally did this, I had two of these platforms on both sides. So this side over here is just one piece. So I needed to recreate that on this side to keep them uniform and also give myself an entryway into the airplane. And it really wasn't that hard. So I started with this walkway over here, which I got from a mod called Settlement Supplies Expanded. You can get these from a few different mods, but this is the one that I use. I lined it up with the other side by using the lines in the floor, which it took a little bit. It's a pain in the ass, I'm not gonna lie. But once it was in, I snapped in the other walkway and then the stairs. 
Then I switched over to SOE where I got these Brotherhood of Steel floors and these just snapped right into the walkway. So I snapped out three of them. So one, two, three, which lined up with the other side too. So you can kind of tell if you're standing right here. And then I did the same thing on the other side, just the walkways and then the stairs. I used the mod SOE for the majority of this because it has a whole section for the Brotherhood. You got walls, floors, stairs, all kinds of stuff. And that's where I got these walls from, which snap right in underneath the floor. So basically I filled up this whole backdrop with those walls. And the last thing I had to do was put in these metal support beams, which I got these from Workshop Rearranged. I like them a lot better because they resembled the ones on the other side a lot better. But really, any of them will work. Except for wood. Don't use wood. This is Brotherhood of Steel, okay? You're better than that. Now, the entryway was a little harder to do because it has to lead into the airplane, so I'll show you what I did there. So there are a few different mods that give you this airplane. I'm using Workshop Rearranged, but I know USO gives it to you and Homemaker. So you have a few different options. I didn't want to tear everything down. So let's just say that this floor here is the floor up here. The Brotherhood is still floor that we're trying to line up with the entryway into the airplane. So basically, I just lined it up with the middle of that floor and then raised it up a good bit. That way I can use a staircase to get into it. I just thought it looked better with a staircase and I didn't want the airplane clipping too far into the actual airport. So raising it up just worked a little bit better. Now going back to SOE, I used these prefab hallways for my entryway. So all I did was line it up to where the entry point into the airplane is the middle part of the prefab. So it's sticking out a little bit in the front and inside the plane. And then we can place in some doors just to cover up all the mess around it, like the broken part of the airplane. So doorway there in the middle and then a doorway here on the inside is what I did. It's kind of sloppy right now, but I at least wanted to give you guys an idea of what it looks like to do that part. When using these airplane pieces, especially if you're trying to put a floor in here, you'll notice that it's not level. It's kind of a pain in the ass. But if you're on PC, you can use place everywhere to rotate the plane, which is also kind of annoying, but it's, it's less annoying than this. So all you have to do is highlight the plane and then you can hit control on your keyboard to change the axis and then hit either comma or period to rotate it a bit. It's very finicky, so you have to play around with it a lot to get it leveled up and even then it's still not perfect. So this will take the most amount of time, but you can see that I play with it just a little bit and it's already a lot better. So it's definitely worth it. And you can take this same feature a step further. So here's the window walls again from SOE and these fit perfectly into like in the middle of these bars right here but the problem is that they are not rounded with the airplane so they kind of stick out but we can also rotate these a little bit to get them where we want now whenever you rotate an object it doesn't always rotate directly in front of you or away from you you see how it kind of goes off to the side and back a little bit so you have to rotate it towards you on one axis and then change the axis and rotate it towards you on the other side to balance it out it's kind of confusing and i might do a whole video at explaining all the features with place everywhere but once you get it balanced out you see it lines up so much better with the plane and the beauty of place everywhere is that you don't have to do this with every single wall piece so once you get one side in highlight it and click the equals key on your keyboard you see a message pops up saying that it stored the object's parameters then highlight the new wall that you want to put in and hit zero on the keyboard and that copies the same parameters to the new wall so it's already rotated and in the same spot as the window. So all you have to do is pick it up and move it over. So it's much easier than having to do this with every single piece, but it's still pretty annoying. But yeah, I did this same technique all the way around the plane, every single wall panel, the same way that I just showed you and I'm still dealing with the trauma. Now this might be pretty silly, but I just want to show this to you guys. So with the Kuro tab mod, we get these type of chairs. I really like them a lot, but it's just the chair itself. So I lined them up together and then I got a coffee table and put it underneath, if I can select it, where is it, okay. The coffee table, and I put it underneath these chairs to make my own sofa. I don't know, I figured someone was gonna ask about that, so I wanted to show it to you. I like it, leave me alone. And the last thing I wanna point out are these computer consoles, because I know there's one person out there that was just like me, trying to find the light up versions of these exact ones and couldn't find them anywhere. It's been three years and I finally found them. It's under a mod called Warehouse Extended. Go to set dressing and then go to computer consoles and then bam, lit up computer consoles. All of these, even the ones from the vaults, they're lit up, they have buttons all over them and they look great. So hopefully that will help out somebody because I was so excited when I found these. But thank you all for watching and for your suggestions. Please keep them coming. They really help me out a lot. So if you have any suggestions for this build, leave them in the comments. I'm going to be decorating the other floors of this build pretty soon. So give this video a like and hit that subscribe button to not miss out. And I'll talk to you soon.